Hello and welcome to another tutorial in XNA. And oh, excuse me. And in this tutorial, we're just going to continue on with our stuff with with our map maker. Okay, so uh, one thing I wanted to do was get our selected integer, and this integer is going to incre increment depending on the value of our mouse wheel. So. Uh, selected here let me think this out for a second okay uh, so what we want to do is this selected integers is basically representing which object in this list we we want to place down or basically uh, we're gonna have a brush to place down our objects and these are gonna be the colors and this basically represent which color we're gonna place down uh, yeah, so I'm gonna make a little if statement here, but it's a special if statement. I'm not sure what it's called, but you'll see. So we want to increment this by uh, selected. If selected is greater than. Oops, sorry. If previous if mouse dot scroll wheel value is greater than previous mouse dot scroll wheel wheel value and this question mark means that there's a conditional here and the first value we want if this is true if mouse dot scroll value scroll value scroll wheel value sorry is greater than previous mouse scroll wheel value we want to increment it by one otherwise we're going to create another if statement and say if mouse what the heck? Mouse dot. Okay, I don't know what's happening there. Let's take this. Copy paste. If it's equal to previous mouse dot scroll wheel value, then what are we going to do? Uh, we want it just to set it to zero. Otherwise, we want it to set it to negative one. So I hope this isn't too confusing, but yeah, that's how we're going to do it. Okay, uh, next thing we want to do is we want to set up parameters. So uh, we can't just keep scrolling and, it, and then the value of this goes into negatives or above the maximum length of this list. So what I'm going to do is say if selected, selected, come on. So, ah, uh, yeah. Selected is greater than object database dot count minus one. Then is going to equal object database dot count minus one. Otherwise, it's going to see if it check if it's uh, less than that. So if selected is smaller than than zero, then it's going to equal zero. Otherwise, uh, it's just going to equal selected, and nothing's going to happen. So I think that's correct. So selected is greater than the maximum amount, then it's going to equal the maximum amount. If selected is smaller than the minimum amount, it's just it's going to equal the minimum amount. Otherwise, it's just going to equal itself again. So, yeah, that just restrains it basically. Okay, so now what we want to do is go into our create new object, and we're going to put actually let's pass in an integer, and it's going to be our selected integer. And yeah, just like this and name this S. Yeah, just short for selected. We also want to check if O dot get type equals equals object database using the index of S dot get type. 
So basically, when we want to make sure if the items match, if their types match. Basically, we want to we're looping through all the objects, and we want to make sure if the color of that object matches the color of the object on our paintbrush. Basically, uh, I'm not sure if that's the greatest analogy, but that's basically what's going on. So uh, that's that. And if it does equal that, we want to set its position. O dot position will equal new vector to mouse dot x and mouse dot y. And we want to add it to the object list. So object list dot add O. I think that's it. Okay, and then we would just want to return, return O. It's not letting, oh yeah, right, object, we got. And right here we would just want to return new object vector 2.0. And this is just going to be our failure uh, failure return value. So we'll return an object with its position 0, 0 if, if it can't find any, basically. Uh, so because we need a return value no matter what. This has to return something. It has to return an object. So that's what we have to do. Uh, actually, I wonder if we can return null. No, actually, never mind. I won't do that. Okay, so it's basically going to slip. Uh, Sorry, can't talk today. It's basically going to set this variable to that new object that we just found. And next thing is we want if is pressed basically. So if it's already been pressed and you're holding the mouse button down, we want that same object to drag with the mouth mouse. So selected object dot position equals new vector two. Uh, mouse dot x mouse dot y and what this is basically going to do is it's just going to follow the mouse when we hold it down and next thing we also want to do is select it object dot snap to grid and I'm not sure if you remember this uh, but it's the method that we use to basically just uh, yeah snap to the grid uh, Nicely. And then next thing we also want to do is make another if statement here and say if mouse dot left button equals equals button state dot released instead of pressed, we want to set is pressed to false and to selected object to null. Okay, so this way uh, we have some way to actually place down the object and stop it from following you around. So uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and debug this, see what we've got so far. Uh, it should just place down an object. Oops. OK, you know what? I think it's already placed down an enemy and stuff like that. So oh, no, that's because uh, I didn't start. Oh, dang it. OK, never mind. Uh, you see, when we started playing the game, our guys weren't showing up anymore, and that's because we created this new draw, uh, this new draw thing. So what we have to do is go into our object class, wherever that is. Okay, got it. And right here has to be drawing and not alive. So if any of these are true, it'll start drawing. So but these, both these variables have to be false for it to return. So if it's alive, it can also draw. If it draws, it can still draw. So that's basically it. So go ahead and test it again. And we should be able to see our people. OK, yeah. Uh, and just to test it, I'm going to put this selected to 1. So it should place walls down. This probably isn't going to work, but <laughs> I'll just try it. What the heck? See what we got so far. 
It looks like we got an error. Begin must be called. Okay. I uh, yeah. Yep. Uh oh no, there's something different. Oh right. I know what's going on. Okay, we'll fix that error in the next tutorial. So, uh please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, stuff like that, leave a comment below any suggestions you have. And uh I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Okay, thank you. Bye.